Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In our previous lesson, we looked at how to view the alert log file. Specifically, we looked at how to view the XML version, the text-based version, and then we looked at how to use the ADROCI to also view the alert log. Now, in today's video, we're going to look at trace files. What are trace files? Very simple. They are files that contain information pertaining to any error conditions that are triggered by a command in an individual user session. Whenever a database user issues a command and such command generates errors, those errors are captured in the trace files. The trace files can also help the database administrator to optimize the performance of SQL statements, you know, by producing statistics for each SQL statement in a user session. Now, another thing you need to understand is the fact that um, Oracle Database creates a different trace file for each process, either server process or background process. The name of the trace file usually contains the name of the process followed by the extension .trc. Okay, I'll quickly demonstrate this in a notepad so you get to see. Now, for your server process, it's preceded by the database name, and then you see the word aura underscore a number dot trc. For example, this one that is highlighted is a server process. Now, for your background process, it's preceded by orocl followed by the name of the process and then the number before the extension. For example, your PMON process, which is a background process, you know, you can see the name of the trace file, orocl underscore PMON underscore 1556.trc, for example. So this is the naming convention for your trace files for each of the processes, either server process or background process. Again, just to be clear, to be able to differentiate between a server process trace file and a background process trace file. For the server process, you have just orocl underscore aura underscore number dot trc. You don't have the name of any process. But for your background process, you have orocl underscore the name of a process, either pmon or mmon or log writer or database writer, whatever background process. Now, it's very important to note that the trace file also can be purged so as to save space for your database. Because over time, this file can actually grow and take up space on your database. Mm -hmm. So there is need to purge your trace files regularly. There are basically two ways to do this. You can automate the process or you can purge it manually. Now, for you to, to do it automatically, it means you have to set what is known as a retention policy. In our exercises, we'll demonstrate both steps. So for us to set the retention policy, okay, first you open a new terminal, and then the next thing you want, the next thing you want to do is to type ADROCI. And then um, if you want to do anything regarding um, the retention policy, you know, for your trace file, the first thing you have to do is to set the home path. So for that, I'm going to issue the command set home path diag slash rdb ms slash orcl slash orcl and then I'll enter. Now the home path has been set. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to issue the command select size p underscore policy from adro underscore control underscore ogs. Now you can see the original size for your adro, okay, where all of your 
trace files are stored and everything. And you can agree with me that it's very, very large. Normally, there are basically two types of um, policies. You, it, one of them is a short policy, and then the other is the long policy. Okay, the retention period for the short policy is about 30 days, while the retention period for the long policy is 365 days, which is actually one year. But in my opinion, this is too long. Okay, so we have to find ways, you know, of reducing the retention policy for both the long policy and the short policy. Okay, so to do this, first let's view um, what our long policy and our short policy is like. Okay, so I'll issue the, 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 the command select short p underscore policy long p underscore policy from adru underscore control okay so from our query output you can see the short policy which is 720 and then the long policy is 8760 uh, but then somebody will be wondering but you told us the short policy is is kept for 30 days and then the long policy is kept for one year this is actually in hours okay so if you punch your calculator 720 divided by 24 gives you 30 so that's 30 days and then the same way if you punch your calculator 8760 divided by 24 gives you 365 days okay but then like i said um we want to try to see how we can reduce these retention policies you know to eight days and 30 days for the short policy and long policy respectively so to do this i'm going to have to type the command estimate Short key underscore policy equal to one nine two long p underscore policy equal to seven twenty. Now, what I'm trying to do is very simple. Um, I told you we're going to set the retention policy for the short and long policy to eight days and 30 days respectively. So I'm trying to ask the um, command interpreter to estimate what size of memory that will be required to have this retention policy this is what i'm simply trying to do okay so let me enter this and then you can see that the short policy in hours you know then the long policy in hours you can see the the size of the policy in bytes okay but then i want to reduce it to something like maybe 8.5 megabytes or so whatever you want you can reduce reduce it to maybe one gig you can reduce it to to 100 megabyte as the case may be depending on you know what suits your operation what suits your environment okay so this is the estimate that the database actually gave to me but i still will not go with it so what i have to do is very simple i'm going to do this set control by the way if you punch your calculator again then divide 192 by 24 you get 8 and then if you divide 720 by 24 you get 30 so the short policy will be set to 8 days while the long policy will be set to 30 days okay so i'm going to start by saying set control and then in brackets um let me use capital letter this time short p underscore policy to be equal to 192 
okay, and then that has been done. Then the next thing I want to do is also set, sorry, set control, then in brackets, long p underscore policy to be equal to 720. And then that is done. Now, finally, I'm going to set the size of the policy. Okay, so to do that, I'll say set control and then in brackets, size P underscore policy um, to be equal to, let's say I pick a value of um, 8559020. Um, and then enter. So I've been able to set the short policy and then the long policy. Okay, so now let me pick this um, query again. Let me pick this query again that says select short P policy, long P policy from ADR underscore control. So if I paste this and then enter, you can see now the short policy has been changed to 192 and then the long policy has been changed to 720. All in hours, remember, all in hours. But if you divide them by 24, you get 8 and 30 for the short and long policies respectively. Okay? So this is how you automate your um, retention policy for your trace files. So for the short policy, once it's up to eight days, the oldest one will be deleted first. And then for the long policy, once it gets to 30 days, the oldest one will be deleted first. Okay, it starts deleting from the oldest entry. Now you can also manually purge your trace files. Okay, let me quickly exit this and then um, I'll show you how to do that real quick. I'll just um, clear my screen to keep things a bit organized. Now to do that, let me get into the path where I have my ADR. So I open this computer, U01 app, Oracle, DAG, RODBMS, ORCL, and then ORCL. Okay, so I'll come here and then open a new terminal here. And then the first thing I want to do is to type the command DUHS. This is actually a Linux command to know um, the size of any directory. Okay, so if I click enter, you see I have 45 megabytes. Okay, so let's say I want to reduce uh, the size of the ADR, you know, to, or I want to reduce it by, by let's say five megabytes again, or let's say 10 megabytes. Again, I type the ADR CI, and then this time I type help purge. Now I've done this so that you can see the information about the purge command. Okay, for you to manually purge your trace file. Now, let's look at the examples here. You can purge by age, you can purge by size, you can purge by numbers. So in our case, I want to purge by size. So what do I do? Very simple, I type the word purge dash size. And then let's say I want to reduce it by 10 megabytes, for instance. So I'll type this, and then I enter. Wait a minute, it will take a while. Okay, as you can see, we have our prompt back. So it means um, it's done purging, right? So let me exit this. And then let me run the same command I executed earlier. Wow. 
So you can see that um, originally we had 45 megabytes, but after um, the purge command, we are having just 14 megabytes. So it was able to reduce the trace file by 31 megabytes. So guys, this is how you purge your trace file manually, okay? Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.